just want to say how proud we are of those who are going to be recognized today. They're honored just a matter of steps from where they were tested under the most extreme conditions. Another one, another one, shot, shot. The body cam video shows the intensity of the encounter among the four who engaged the gunman, Officer Antonio Etter. He put himself in the line of fire to stop the threat. I cried and I'm just was happy that he came home to me. Very, very happy. Jacqueline Etter is Officer Etter's wife. She says he's a father and grandfather and now honored with the Medal of Valor. They're just happy. Their dad is a hero, their papa's a hero, and my husband's a hero. The video is from Officer Jennifer Chilton's body cam. It's perhaps the most unnerving to watch, especially if you're her mother. When I saw her body cam, that was really scary. Patty Chilton knows something about the life of an officer. Her daughter isn't the first in the family to wear a badge. She is third generation police officer. Uh, her father was a police chief and her grandfather was a Cincinnati police officer. And the day of the shooting, Officer Chilton was wearing something her mom believes could be as important to her protection as her bulletproof vest something that belonged to her grandfather. When she graduated from the academy, uh, she was able to get her grandfather's badge, and I think he's with her every day. Now, in the moments after the shooting, Officer Chilton sent her mom a text telling her she was okay. Fortunately, it was before her mom saw any of the coverage. Now, Officer Chilton's dad, he was a chief at both Fairfax and Milford. Reporting live, Brian Hemrick, WLWT News 5. Brian.